What is up, Coratics? In this video, I'm going to be giving a prediction list as to what cars I personally think we're going to get in the brand new 2023 December update in GTA Online. And yes, for those of you wondering, Rockstar has confirmed in the past that we will be getting a December DLC this year. So we're probably going to get that GTA 6 trailer at the very beginning of December and then the December DLC right after that. So judging by when the GTA Plus benefits end, we should be receiving this DLC on December 12th which is literally less than a month away. Now, at the time of this recording, Rockstar hasn't confirmed the theme of this DLC. However, it's rumored to feature Michael from Story Mode, judging by all the hints his voice actor Ned Luke has been giving us on Twitter. But anyways, remember that the following predictions are speculation. This video is based on a combination of what I think Rockstar realistically add to the game and what the community has been wanting for a while. So the way I'm going to be structuring and organizing this list is based on vehicle classes. Now I will be excluding the motorcycles class, open wheel, utility, go-karts, etc. since I personally think we won't receive any for this DLC. But anyways, starting off with the supercar class, I personally believe we'll get a new exotic hypercar such as a new True Fate vehicle based on either the Bugatti Bolid, the Bugatti EB110, or the Bugatti Mistral, which is a topless Bugatti made on the Chiron platform with this crazy looking updated taillight design. Either one of these three I think are very likely since Rockstar loves to add in true fate vehicles in the game from time to time. As for the second supercar, I believe a new car based on the Pagani Utopia is very, very likely. We haven't had a new Pagani inspired car in a while and I think now would be a great opportunity for that. And of course, some honorable mentions include the Koenigsegg CC850, the Koenigsegg Jamera, the McLaren Elva, the McLaren Speedtail, the Carrera GT, the Lexus LFA, and the off-road Lamborghini Huracan Strato as well. Now, Rockstar does throw us curveballs sometimes with lesser-known supercars, so I'd like to also put some of those possible ones in here as well, like the Pininfarina B95, the Apollo Project Evo, and the 2024 Alfa Romeo 33 Stradale as well. Moving on to the sports car class, this one is a little difficult as the sports class is so vast with many different types of possible cars they can add, but there are a few main ones that stand out to me, and I will be putting a large amounts in the honorable mentions category of this one as well. So the first one I want to discuss is a Cabrio variant of the Obey 10F from last year. For those of you who remember the Comet S2 from the Tuners DLC, Rockstar then added a Cabrio variant of it with the Contract DLC. So even though it's been a while, I still think it's very likely that Rockstar can do the same and give us a 10F Cabrio, which of course would be based on the second gen Audi R8 Spider. For our second car, I believe Rockstar will take the existing Comet S2 and make a Comet S2 Safari based on the 911 Dakar, which would basically be a more modern variant of the current Comet Safari in game. Now the third car I want to discuss is a new Grotti vehicle inspired by the Ferrari Monza SP2. Seeing as Rockstar likes to reskin a lot of their cars for newer ones, I think they will take the SM722 we had and then reskin it to give us one based on the Ferrari Monza. Some honorable mentions include the first gen Acura slash Honda NSX, the Evo 8, the DC2 Integra Type R, the E46 BMW M3, the Mark III Supra, the Mitsubishi 3000 GT VR4, the Lancia Delta Integrale, the 2024 Maserati Gran Turismo, the Cadillac Celesti, the Bentley Molinor Bator, and the Corvette C5 as well, which was featured in GTA 4. All right, now moving on to the muscle car class, I believe a new Vapid vehicle inspired by the Fox Body Mustang could be a very high possibility since we all know Rockstar loves adding in Mustang variants into GTA Online. And I'm sure a lot of you guys remember the Vapid Uranus from GTA 4 that was very similar to this as well. Next up, I believe another Vapid vehicle inspired by either the 2024 Mustang Dark Horse or the 2025 track-focused GTD is very likely. 
The Dominator GTX that we currently have in game has always been a pretty strange looking car with the mashup of mixed parts from other cars, and I think this would be the perfect opportunity for them to make a proper newer Mustang design. Some honorable mentions here include the 1971 Plymouth Roadrunner GTX, and possibly a Benny's wide-body upgrade for the current Buffalo STX, which of course would be based on the wide-body Charger Hellcat. Moving on to the Sports Classics class, I think a new Vapid vehicle inspired by the 1960s Ford GT40 is bound to happen at some point. Now I know I've been putting this one of my prediction videos for a while because I think we can all agree it's a car that should be in GTL at this point alongside the FMJ and the Bullet, and I really hope we get it for this new update, um, but who knows, honestly, it might never happen. It might happen in the next update, only Rockstar knows. Next up, I believe a new Ocelot vehicle inspired by the Jaguar E-Type is very likely as well. It's one of the most beautiful classic sports cars ever made, and I'm honestly surprised we don't have it in GTA as of yet. Some honorable mentions include the Ferrari 330 P4, the Porsche 917, the Porsche 959, the 944, and the 356 Speedster as well. Moving on to the SUVs class, I believe a new grotty vehicle inspired by the Ferrari Puro Suangue is highly likely. Honestly, out of all the vehicles on my prediction list, I think this one is the most likely. Next up, I think a new Dubachi vehicle inspired by the Aston Martin DBX is highly likely as well since we don't have a Dubachi SUV in game as of yet. Some honorable mentions include the Jeep Trackhawk, the Jeep Grand Wagoneer, the Hellcat Durango, the 2023 Escalade V, the Lamborghini Lanzador, and possibly an updated G-Wagon as well. Moving on to the off-roads class, I believe a new vehicle inspired by the Rivian R1T is highly likely. Next up, I think a new Bravado vehicle inspired by the Ram TRX is a high possibility as well, since its direct competitor is the Ford Raptor, which we already have in game as the Car Car 4x4. The TRX has been a highly requested truck in the community, and hopefully we get it in the next update. And lastly, I think a new Mammoth vehicle inspired by the Hummer EV is also likely as well. Some honorable mentions include the newer Land Rover Defender, the Jeep Wrangler 392, the newer Ford Lightning, and even possibly a Toyota 4Runner TRD Pro as well. Moving on to sedans, seeing as the Reinhardt from the Criminal Enterprises DLC was very popular, I believe a new vehicle inspired by either the Audi RS6 Avant or the Mercedes E63 S wagon is very likely. Now Rockstar unfortunately doesn't have a class for wagons in this game, so that's why I put the Reinhardt in the Sedans class. And lastly we have the Compacts class. I strongly believe a new Anis vehicle inspired by some variant of the Mazda Miata is extremely likely. The Miata is a car the community has been wanting for a while, and I'm really surprised we don't have it in GTA Online as of yet. Next up, I believe a new Karen vehicle inspired by either the Toyota GR Yaris or the GR Corolla is very likely as well. Some honorable mentions include the PLP50, the BMW Isetta, the Renault Clio V6, and possibly a classic gas-powered variant of the Pinot La Cruz we currently have in game, which would be based on the normal Renault R5 Turbo. Anyways guys, hope you enjoyed the video and my vehicle predictions as to what cars Rockstar might release in the new 2023 December update. Now obviously these are just predictions and I could be completely wrong, but I think I've covered what most of the community is expecting for this newer DLC, and I'm hoping we get at least maybe five from this list. Definitely let me know what you guys think down below in the comments and what vehicles you personally think Rockstar are most likely release. Thanks again for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.